Hello, Internet, YouTube, and whatever. So, uh, the reason I'm posting today is that I've just made my very own pop shield, which means that I can actually use this wonderful microphone I've got, which is the Zoom H2N, and I can actually use it to talk into. Hi! So, I'm now actually going to have some decent audio on my videos, which is... Uh, that's going to just clear my mind on so many things. Um, I'm afraid that the room isn't exactly damp. Uh, I mean, you know, it just reflects everything. You know, it's... It's not, it's not dead in any way. It's just super felt by reverberant and really hard reflective surfaces. But anyway, point is, I made this and I mean, I, this is the high tech version, but you can make something very much like this, which is super effective. All you need is basically um, an embroidery hoop, which I got for a couple of pound and a pair of tights, which is a couple of pound. So four pound, you can make something that's pretty much just as effective as something that's thirty, forty dollars, and it'll take a few days to arrive. You can nip to your local market. I go to Bury Market for my stuff, and yep, so that's four pound. And I'm supporting British companies as well, which I like. You know, what I mean, I'm not shipping off to China, which I don't. You know, I'm not discouraging that, but I'm, I'm very much like let's be, let's be British. You know, let's be proud of it. But this is the high tech version. What I've got here um, is basically, um, I think this is a six or seven inch. Um, hoop, I'm not sure, maybe the five inch, I can't remember. Um, anyway, basically what I've got is, this is the big version. Now this is some wire mesh from a splatter shield that you use for cooking. Um, and basically what that means is, well, it does the same job, doesn't it really? But then I've wired, wired up, uh, laid a pair of tights over the top, this side and that side. So I've got some nice some layers to, to break up the pressure waves. So now I can really talk into it. And for those of you who don't actually know what a pop filter does, um, it filters out, well, ma the majority of basically what we call plosives, which are sounds like B and P, uh, which create like an air pressure wave and you save them. So for instance, B and P, you can hear that popping pop on the microphone. So B and P pop, it takes away all that. It disperses the pressure waves through it basically. Um, it's wonderful and that means that I can now actually, I'm going to be able to do some really nice tight vocal recordings on this and if I need to do some voice acting I've got this nice little setup. So um, great stuff, this is my pop shield. I'm going to upload a video soon on how to create it. Um, and like I said it's very cheap, two or three pounds to do. Um, the actual mount that I'm using um, is basically something like a, it's a USB light with a crocodile clip on the end of it and a pair of helping hands. So I needed to re refine that yet, but it's doing the job that I need it to, you know, it's nice and durable and it holds the thing up. So there you go. 